Hi everybody, welcome to my very first baking video. I invented something in the kitchen and I wanted to share it with everybody. Um, so this is a chocolate chip banana muffin recipe that I invented. So we start off with one cup of flour, which I have already put in there, and a half a pack of chocolate pudding. So we put that in there as well. Then we combine, uh, we combine those two, or we can wait until we put the other ingredients that are the dry ingredients. So the next three ingredients I combined here beforehand, and they are three fourth teaspoon of, of baking soda, three fourth teaspoons of baking powder, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. So we put those together because they're all dry. Now, we can set this aside. These are the dry ingredients. We set them aside, and then we get the bananas out. I'll just put you guys on pause for a second. And let us resume. So to the dry ingredients, I forgot we have to use uh, sugar. So we've got one fourth cup of white sugar and one fourth cup of brown sugar. And we combine all those. Next are the wet ingredients. And we can do it, we, we can interchange, we can use the wet first, we can combine the wet first or we can combine the dry first, it doesn't matter. It's just how it is incorporated later that it'll matter. So we will have, now we have, we're gonna mush up these bananas. So we use three bananas. Gonna mush up three bananas in the bowl. And we do, you could do three or four, doesn't matter. It's all up to you. But I use three. And it doesn't matter if they're a little brown, that's actually helpful. It'll keep the sweetness. So we mash, mash it together. We can mash the bananas or we can blend it together. I also have a, a mixer here. But I like to do this one by hand, and as I incorporate the rest of the wet ingredients, then I can use the mixer. Okay, and that's what it looks like. Sorry, I wash I wash my hands upon every movement. So this is softened butter. Use some softened butter, and it is. Let's see what I put. Two tablespoons of of unsalted butter, unsalted butter, melted. Then two tablespoons of sour cream. Can add that in. And then we have to crack some eggs. We have to crack some eggs. Two eggs, to be exact. There's also, there's also oil, vegetable oil, two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And so we combine this together. So an egg, I, I like to use room temperature eggs. They seem to work better with the recipe. And then mash it together. And this is a good time to start using your your mixer. So I'm just I'll start using the mixer. At this point, you can mix it together and then add the vegetable oil. tablespoons of vegetable oil at this time. And now we can
can combine them, the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. And we can put them in, we can incorporate it little by little, maybe in thirds. Let's see. So we put the mix and combine. And we can stop and not over mix stuff. And here are two more. And we can mix it up. It's a different kind of consistency. It's a little thicker. And here's the final one. And we mix. I'll be right back. I've already combined it and it should have this look, this consistency. It's not like it's not like uh, cake batter. It's a little bit thicker. And so here comes the next part. What you can do, depending on how much you like the chocolate chips, you can add them before or you can just sprinkle them on the top of your of your muffin, of your silicone muffin. Uh, so I like them, so I am going to add them now. It's to your taste, whatever you like. If you like more chocolate chips, whatever it is that you like. So I stir this in. And now I've already preheated my oven to 425. So that should be good. And this mixture, it tastes delicious. Okay, let's put this aside. Now, we could take it with an ice cream scooper. Just grab enough. And you put some in here. And you repeat. Now this is a very quick recipe. It is left, it is in the oven uh, only 10 minutes. At 425, for only 10 minutes. And you basically will have a dessert in just a couple of minutes. So I'll be right back. And for the last step is just adding some more chocolate chips if you wish to do so on the top which I have already done before recording. And this is what it looks like. So we put this in the oven for 425 on a 425 degree uh, oven. And uh, we ask uh, our Google assistants to help us. Hey Google, can I have a 10 minute timer? Okay, 10 minutes, and we're starting now. Be right back. We're back, or I'm back, and I'm here to check on, 10 minutes was not good enough. It was 15, actually. So we're gonna check to see. And I think that we actually have a winner here. Get them out. Look at how they look. We're gonna let these bad boys cool for a little bit and then we'll do a taste test. I'll be right back. They've cooled down a bit. I'm gonna try the smallest one here and it came right out. It's still cool. These are brilliant. These are amazing. I'll never bake without these if I'm going to make muffins. Silicone. They're fantastic. So let's test this out for a minute here. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. 
That is delicious. Please try that recipe and tell me what you think. Bye.